Good afternoon to you, Lock Doc coming through. This is a very special lock, uh, namely because my dad actually bought it for me off eBay for eight bucks. Uh, thankfully, there's nothing wrong with this, so this is a great working model. Um, the other day, I made a video about a lock very similar to this, but when you open it up, it looks nothing like that lock that I had that day. Um, and I'll show you here in just a second. Um, again, it's a cast iron body. Uh, this one actually has the faceplate on it. The other one I had the other day did not. Uh, it does operate with the skeleton key. Uh, it does have a deadbolt. Otherwise, it's a very good little lock. Um, I'm not sure if you'd use it on a storm door or maybe a residential, you know, bedroom or office or something to that extent. Very cool nonetheless. I, I would probably date this around 1960s. I don't know, 1950s, late 50s. Um, you'll see in a second why I think the 60s. And it has to do with the springs that are used in this. Uh, so on the inside, you only got to take one screw off. Very nice. Take that up. But on the inside of here, uh, so what's cool about it? Uh, this is actually the deadbolt mechanism. So when you're putting your skeleton key in, it's actually pushing this piece up and then pushing that out. If I can get it working. Kind of hard to do, but that's that's what you're doing. Uh, the tension of this piece is all relied on by that spring steel right there, which in the past, for these similar deadbolt applications I've had to actually make this spring out of spring steel you know it's just simple it's like an eighth inch wide not sure of the thickness but you just kind of make it to that general shape and then just put it in there um, it's actually just kind of pressed into place I've actually taken uh, my bench vise and squeezed it in that area right there to just more or less secure it into place. Um, but what's cool on the inside, these are all casted pieces, but this spring right here is what makes me think that it's 60s or it's a later model than the lock that I covered the other day because that lock was primarily, it was using spring steel uh, for the latch bolt. Um, this one, as you can tell, is that so it's cool is when you turn your knob either which way it's going to draw that latch bolt in but just wanted to say thanks dad this one's a very awesome lock Thank you for watching. If you got any questions, feel free to just post them below. Other than that, hope you have a great day.